Resident Evil Apocalypse that shows substantial in terms of visual effects. The goal was to make our effects as real as possible, as seamless as possible, push them a lot farther than was done in the first film. I start off looking at the script, breaking down the work I see in there into potential visual effects. Some areas are very clearly visual effects, when those stray the way that you couldn't achieve it in camera. My approach for the movie was to do it as realistic as possible. If there's something that we couldn't do, on camera, then go and talk to our visual supervisor and see how we could achieve this on CGI. We used a variety of visual effects techniques, every kind of digital manipulation you could think of. We had green screens, CG creatures, all sorts of CG objects, tracking, map paintings, wire removals, screen graphics, miniatures, you name it, we have it. One of the more exciting sequences in the movie was the liquor sequence, which takes place in the church. The liquors are back, more cunning than ever. Mina, very malicious. Massive monstrosities, they're just beasts with big six-foot tongues. The church liquor sequence started off as one page of description of action in the script. The director storyboarded the sequence. We just sort of took it from there. The big challenge with it was to get the creature looking right. The basic design is lifted from the game, essentially. There was an intent to do an animatronic creature for some of the sequences. Most of the shots didn't really have the right behavior and the right look, so it was decided to go full CGI with the creature. Every liquor shot is a computer-generated creature. We referenced a lot of baboons, lions, things that are aggressive and he does sort of hop around on all fours. So we did reference some frogs. They're quite a difficult creature to work with because they don't have any eyes. It's very difficult to create expressions. I've really built a lot of the emotion of these creatures into the tongue. So in shots where I really wanted to portray a lot of aggression, I've really got that tongue going like a whip. Its texture is that of a flayed human being. It pretty much said, go to the butchers, get some steaks, some chops and scan in raw bloody meat as texture. We start off doing rough animations to get approval on, move into refined animation and lighting and compositing. We rendered different passes for this creature's surface, different passes for the specular highlights, diffuse the reflection as juicy as possible. 